going on YouTube? I'm headed out to Monster Power Sports in Wakanda, Illinois right now. Possibly going to pick up a 2011 GSX-R 750. I think it's got like 1700 miles on it. They're asking uh, $89.99. I've been uh, thinking about trading in my CBR 500 for a while now. And just so happened that I decided to go today and check it out. And see what happens, see if they uh, see if they let me buy it. Hopefully they give me a good amount for this bike. You know, I thought about uh, trying to, you know, because I'm going to pay this bike off soon. And I thought about, you know, paying it off and then trying to sell it outright. Sorry about that, I had to pause for a minute. I listened to my uh, turn by turn direction on Cena. I turn left on 45 South. I don't want to get lost because I don't know where the fuck I'm going. But yeah, so I thought about, you know, paying it off and trying to sell it on Craigslist or, you know, whatever. But, eh, I don't know. You know, I don't want to deal with the fucking hassle, especially because. This bike isn't, you know, it's not uh, very old, so selling something for roughly $5,000, it's going to be hard to find someone that has that cash up front. But, so, three miles, alright. So I figured, you know, I, yeah, I'm going to lose a couple bucks, but it'll be uh, hassle free. Just get my bike traded in and get the new one I want. Now, I was thinking, actually I was like dead set on getting a uh, 2007 to 2008 CBR 600. And, you know, I found a few that I liked and I was going to go look at them. Well, I started looking at bikes again. And I've always liked the, I've always liked the Jixxer 750s a lot. I like the fact that they're small, like a 600. Cause I'm not very big myself, so I needed something littler. And I like that they have a bigger motor than a 600, so you get more of that low end power. Which is why I also like the Daytona 675s, but those are too much money. I don't want to buy something brand new right now. So, I'm looking at the 750s and I didn't think I could afford the insurance. Well, not that I couldn't afford it, I just didn't want to pay over a thousand dollars a year for insurance. So. I find a couple Jixxer 750s I really like, you know, and I'm like, oh, okay, well, let's check out some different places. I was just looking at Dairyland. So I checked out a few, uh, I checked out Geico and uh, Esurance, a couple other places I've never heard of, just to see. Uh, Progressive. Progressive is the worst place ever. I don't know how anybody even gets a decent rate from them because I go through them for my car insurance and I get an awesome rate for car insurance. I look for motorcycle insurance. They wanted... What did they want? $1,600 a year for a GSX-R 750. I have a clean record, you know, never been in any accidents, never had any claims, no tickets, nothing, you know. I'm a homeowner, blah, 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 all that bullshit discount that you get. And, yeah, they still want 1600 bucks. So I call up, or I uh, go on uh, insurance, and they want, like, 630 So I was like, oh, that's pretty good, you know, let me check a few more places out. So I check out Geico next. Sure as shit, man, fucking 403 bucks through Geico. You know, I'm 25, like I said, clean record, everything, $403 a year. I'm like, that's fucking awesome. I, I was like, now it just, like, it just uh, widened my uh, my bike choice, which is awesome because I was, you know, I thought I had to go with, like, a, a CBR or something cheap where I could uh, get low insurance. So, yeah, that's that. And, uh, yeah, now I'm on the way to go look. And hopefully pretty soon... Probably not today, but I don't know. I'm hoping. I'm wishful thinking that I'll be able to take it home today. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll be able to take it home today and you'll see uh, another little video clip of me on the way home with my new uh, GSX-R 750. So, either you'll see me on it or you'll see me back on this riding home. Either way, I'll... Uh, I'll get back to you guys in a little bit, alright? Peace. So, as you can tell, 
still on my CBR. Sadly. Things got a little, uh... Things got a little heated in there. That guy, uh... I don't know, he was very rude. I gotta admit. He wasn't, uh... Wasn't a very nice salesman. Granted, most salesmen aren't, but... He, uh... He pissed me off pretty good there. But, I wanted the bike. And so, I, you know, he talked to his loan company and they're not open. They're only, they close at five, so. They don't, have, they don't have enough time to get me in and get me approved and everything, so. Well, I looked at the bike more too. And it looks like it had been downed. There's some, uh. There's some scuffs on the brake lever, bar end, the exhaust, you know, some of the plastics, and uh, the right, the right front, or right, whatever, right side fairing here, was, uh, had a little scuff on it, and it wasn't sitting uh, flush, so it looked like it kind of got tweaked from when it must have fell down, so, I don't know, it's got only 1,600 miles, but... I just don't really feel comfortable buying a down bike either, so. Um, the other bike I was looking at was, was in, um, Big Bend, Wisconsin, and that one had like 2,600 miles, but that one had been down also, and the guy actually told me over the phone, which I wish this lady would have told me, because fucking bitch told me, oh no, it's clean, it's real clean. Uh, yeah, no. It definitely had been downed, and she didn't want to say anything. She just figured she'd get me in, and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I kind of still thought about buying the bike. And, you know, the damage to it was not bad at all, by any means, so. I still thought about it. But, I don't think it's meant to be. I think I'm going to go look at something else. You know, my thing is I'm, like, so worried about looking at mileage... I mean, really, that I shouldn't really be looking at mileage because no matter how many miles are on a bike, if the person didn't take care of it or dropped it like this bike, you really never know what else is wrong with the bike. It could be no miles, you know. But uh, I think I'm going to go check out a few other ones around. But it's getting late today, so probably going to have to wait till Thursday. And then hopefully I'll... Uh, be able to go look again and uh, see what else is out there hopefully find something cleaner maybe even get a little more for my bike they only wanted to give me $2,800 for my CBR which is what made me mad because $2,800 for a bike that I paid $5,500 for last year and they're still selling Oh, excuse me. They're still selling these bikes. Used ones with, you know, say like a thousand, two thousand miles, just like mine has got. They're selling them for five thousand dollars. And I bet you any money people are buying them. I mean, why not? You save yourself a few hundred bucks, get a bike that's barely been broken in. You know, mine has a couple extras on it too. It's got the exhaust, it's got the, the levers, it's got the rim tape, it's got the upgraded headlights. I mean, it's got a few things done to it to make it more appealing, you know what I mean? But, you know, he said no, 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 so, whatever. I don't think I'll be going back there unless I can't find anything else that I really love, but. That's it for today, guys. Maybe next time I'll actually be able to pick something up and be on a new bike. So, till next time, guys. Peace.